winter, many people are drawn outdoors to sled, ski, and play in the snow. But have you ever wondered where it all comes from? Snow starts off as water droplets in a cloud. Water droplets freeze when they come in contact with dust particles, forming intricate lattice-like patterns. Here in New York, we are able to experience a weather phenomenon that occurs in very few places in the country. Every year, many areas south and east of the Great Lakes receive large amounts of precipitation called lake effect snow. The Great Lakes don't freeze during the winter, so their water can be warmer than the surrounding air by up to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Under these conditions, a huge amount of water evaporates over the lakes. When carried ashore by the wind, the moist air cools, condenses, and creates a large amounts of snow. Lake effect snows often follow winter storms and the strong airflow behind the storm's cold front. Usually, accumulations from lake effects surpass those deposited by the storm itself. In the more severe lake effect snow squalls, snowfall accumulations of more than 30 inches per day are common, and severe snowfalls, or snowbursts, can deposit snow as fast as 11 inches per hour. Lake effect snows are the most common and heaviest around the east and south shores of the Great Lakes, but can occur on the lee side of any large lake that doesn't freeze during the winter. Snowflake watching is a great activity you can participate in all winter long. All you need is a magnifying glass, warm clothes, and a little patience. Once it starts to snow, let the flakes fall on your sleeve. Wearing dark colors make them easiest to see. Each snowfall, whether lake effect or not, brings its own one-of-a-kind snowflakes. So bundle up and enjoy nature in your backyard.